أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين معلم البشرية وطبيبها سيدنا محمد اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه My dear sister, my dear brother, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Recently, the World Health Organization, WHO, World Health Organization, announced to the whole world, if you eat frequently processed red meat, you are likely to have cancer, especially cancer of the colon. And testing. They mention on the top bacon, ham, pork, pig. On the top, they put more likely you will get cancer. Red meat, commonly beef from cow, or you know lamb from mutton from sheep. You know sheep. Commonly red meat, white meat, chicken and fish we commonly eat you know red meat and we eat white meat today the report is about the red meat they gave warning and processed red meat is widely used today what's processed Process means the meat is not natural, not fresh, not natural, not pure. You do a lot of things in the meat to make it process. What they do? They put so many things, smoky, you know, salt, preservative, red coloring, a lot of chemical. You have it in salami. You have it in sausage, you have it in tin, meat. Many of you, many Muslims, buy all this processed meat. It's a danger. In fact, this new medical report has come before a few times. Danger with processed, not natural, not the pure meat. You add your own chemical different type of chemical you store the meat preservative you know additive so many things so they mention about this study based on half million people age 40 to 69 from 2006 till 2010 they say at least 34,000 die from cancer related to meat Normally, we have got a large number of people dying from cancer colon in Britain. 61 in every thousand Briton have got cancer and die from cancer. And even that we have a report lately, barbecue. I love barbecue myself. Link to some cancer. I want you to be aware of that. We need to be aware of that. You know, processed meat. I repeat, sausage, salami, hot dogs, corned beef, burger, etc. Burger. Salami. And as I said, on the top processed meat is the ham, bacon, which is linked to cancer. And they say one should not have more than 70 grams a day of meat. 70 grams or 500 grams per week. And one steak a week, you know. And you won't believe it. They put this danger, processed meat, dangerous like smoking, 
drinking alcohol. Recently on TV, many businessmen who involved with processed meat, they're shouting, they're angry, they say their business went down. And maybe some of them, they say, we want to take the World Health Organization to court. Obviously, I believe this is a, 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 a true medical fact about processed anything not natural. To give you problem with the meat, you know, dangerous like smoking, etc. Bowel cancer, which is related to processed red meat, in Britain, 16,000 die every year. One six, 16,000 people die from bowel cancer. Obviously, we're not saying all related to meat. We're not saying that to red processed meat, etc. Additive, chemical, I repeat, smoky, salt, preservative, additive, red color, etc., etc. Something to worry about. A lot of non-Muslim eat meat. But the worry to me, the Muslim are more addicted to meat than the non-Muslim, as I discover. You hardly have one day pass in a Muslim family without meat, meat and rice, chicken and meat and rice, etc., etc. We have a big problem. Although, one good thing, I don't see a lot of Muslims going for sushi salami like the English. But salami may be eaten more lately by Muslims. You know, always, as many of us do, at least natural from the butcher shop. No processing. Fresh as much as you can. The best you can do. Now, let me move to Islam now. What's the position of the meat in Islam? By the way, remember, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he rarely ate meat. Not daily like the Muslim today. You know, obviously there's a lot of poor Muslims in the world, they don't know meat even for weeks. May Allah help them. You know, the meat medically is a super superior diet, good for your health, if truly halal, we have false halal a lot today, if tayyib, you know what's tayyib, natural, fresh, safe, healthy, tasty, they got it, World Health Organization, the meat is not tayyib, but they don't know that. They don't know we have ayat in the Quran, halalan tayyibah, halalan tayyibah, halal, prophetic method of dhabah, animal slaughter, not the English method as done by most Muslim in halal shop and restaurant today. Prophetic to take almost all blood out. Method of dhabah, not with stunning electric shock, gun to the cow. Electric water, bars for chicken, put the head inside, electricity, strangulation, mechanica in the Quran mentioned. When you have proper prophetic method of the biha, animal slaughter, without stunning, you win half of the battle. The other half, which is almost non existent today, Almost. The animal before you do Zabiha should be Tayyib. Not only halal, Tayyib. The body of the animal should be Tayyib. That, what does it mean? No hormone, no antibiotic, no vaccine, hundreds of chemical poison the meat. You get it when you eat the meat. You know, antibiotic we're having now, big medical problem in the world, antibiotic resistance. When you are ill, you have 
infection, you need antibiotic, you take it, no effect. As you know, medically, all over the world, they have this, they call it time bomb antibiotic resistance. So in Islam, the beautiful Islam, the animal to grow, what they call it in the West, organic, natural. Organic farm, expensive to buy the sheep from organic farm. Generally, their body free from antibiotic, vaccine, hormone, etc., etc., etc. This is a tayyib sheep. We Muslims should do that. We should have our own Islamic organic farm to grow our own natural organic chicken, sheep, cow. You go to organic farm, English, non-Muslim, very expensive. It has to be expensive, by the way, even if we do our own Islamic farm. Jannah, very expensive to go to heaven and Jannah. To practice Islam is not easy today. To find true halal meat, tayyib, food, drink is not easy. It's more expensive. Our halal business, so-called halal business, shop, halal shop, etc. We always look cheaper. Which shop? The chicken is 20 pence cheaper. Cheaper is a killer. Most cheap chicken meat, you worry about it. Let me give you an example. It was on Panorama a few years ago, chicken run. They discovered a lot of chicken bef before they sell it, before doing Zabiha. Heavy in weight. They check injected inside the chicken, inside the chicken, you cannot see it. The business company, commonly non-Muslim, they put water and protein, animal protein from pork or beef or cow. They add water, they stay together. Water and animal protein. So the chicken you buy, I'm not saying all chicken, by the way, the chicken you buy, Supposed to be two kilo, it become in weight three kilo. You you paying for extra kilo, cheating, lying and cheating is business today over the world. There are a lot. There are some place in Manchester they inject, you know, the chicken. So anyway, coming back to the issue of meat in Islam is a super healthy diet, if grown. Naturally, which is a big question mark today. Naturally, tayyib, no hormone, no vaccine, no antibiotic, only in organic farm. People who can afford it, they buy it. This is one thing, you know. Then the other important thing neglected by a lot of Muslim consumers, they don't think, they believe halal, finish is halal. We said, we repeated many times. 95% of halal meat and chicken in halal, you know, shop, in halal business company is not truly halal. They took away prophetic method of Zabiha, put it aside. They follow the English way of Zabiha. Stunning, electric shock to the sheep. Gun, bullet to the cow. The biggest chapter in the Quran, cow make her criminal, you know. The chicken, poultry, big electric water bath. They immerse the head of the chicken inside electric water bath. 40% die from strangulation. You know, drowning inside the water, the head. The, the government said 33%. Before now, they're moving to 40%. They're all meet up dead. Forbidden for you to eat. They all mix with the other. Other don't die. You know? And they go cheap on the market. 
most halal shop in Britain full of this chicken who died before you put the knife. Meat huh? contain a lot of blood because you didn't give a chance, you know, when the heart beating alive to push the blood out. You did not give a chance. You know, a lot of blood stay inside. And a lot of blood we discover go inside the meat, small capillary, small blood vessel you cannot see inside. Crack up. Ooze blood. You're taking the leg. I enjoy it. Beautiful. Inside meat. Inside the blood. Blood is haram. Blood is unhealthy. Blood is poisonous. I'm adding this to the report by World Health Organization. I believe these are factors. If we don't follow Islamic guidance to grow animal naturally, organic, without all these chemicals, and to slaughter the animal without stunning. Because, as I said, blood stays inside. There will be coagulation of the blood. There will be poison. There will be a lot of bacteria. When you use stunning as done by most halal company in Britain, in Europe, in many places, they follow the West blindly. You know, they don't have. About a few weeks ago, I was in Istanbul. Big international conference on halal, tayyib, meat, food, medicine. I had my presentation, scientific, Islamic fact, on stunning. And anybody interested, I can send the study, which I have done. And I have done similar study before. Anyway, coming back. Your meat and your food, your fruit, your vegetable should be free. Fruit, vegetable, insecticide, pesticide. Now the bees are dying. I talked to you before about the bee disaster of bee dying, insecticide, pesticide. You know, and fruit, vegetable affected, and it's getting worse. People trying to change, genetically modified, with a lot of hazard and problem resulting after. So in Islam, to add to this report. No stunning. Prophetic matter of Zabiha. Moses, Jew, Jew, follow Moses. No electric shock, no stunning. Muslim, softy. Many, I'm not saying all Muslim, astaghfirullah. Many Muslim, softy. No education, ignorance about the, what cause, what problem, what muhammad result from stunning. They don't know that. Or greedy. Money, money, money. They don't care. The Jew practice the prophetic method of Zabiha much better than a lot of Muslims. With the knife, with the uh, chicken training, they train people two years, certificate. Go to Muslim slaughterhouse. Anyone from the road, come on. Do slaughter him. Animal. It's a, it's a, it's a science today, it's a knowledge. Anatomy, physiology, etc. So, in stunning, there is blood, there is dead animal before you do the cut, there is high rate of bacteria, coagulation of the blood. This, in the West, can add to the problem of cancer. They didn't mention it, they don't, they don't know about the prophetic method of the blood. And I'm surprised they didn't use the issue of. What you call it? Natural, organic. They should mention it. The meat of the animal is very unhealthy. Even if you do the best method of animal slaughter, prophetic method, the meat today is unhealthy. You know, a lot of meat on the market, not halal, not truly halal, although halal meat. Most, almost all meat consumed by Muslim, chicken and Mutton, sheep, etc. Not tayyib. How many Muslims know that? In Quran, halal tayyib, halal tayyib. Not tayyib means not natural. And this poisoned animal by a lot of chemical, hormone, antibiotic, affect your health too when you consume it. I believe 
it is linked also to colon to cancer. Although they haven't mentioned it, they don't know except stunning, stunning all the time. And it has to be mentioned, clarified, to add to the reason to get cancer from processed meat. Red processed meat. Muslim, I repeat it again, addicted to meat, although the meat, majority is not truly halal, not prophetic middle of the Although the meat you eating, you Muslim, not tayyib, majority. Not organic. And when you go organic, expensive, many Muslim will not buy. It's too much. Even non-Muslim cannot buy, affected. And obviously Muslim have to be careful, as I mentioned before, about salami, burger, you know, canned meat, etc. Uh, one thing important, you have big responsibility, parent, father. Your children at home, you give them meat. The children, when they grow up having meat, they build muscle, organ from the meat you give them. Not like you and me, adult. We don't need me to build our organ and muscle. You have big responsibility, Muslim parent, to feed them 100% true halal. 100% tayyib, natural. No process. Keep them away from burger and salami and all the mess you go to different places and restaurants and you buy. Now, some meat in the market illegal. Smoky, they call it, etc. Some animal bought by Muslim to slaughter, not healthy. They are sick. We're discovering that. Cheap. Some people, they cheat on you. You don't know about health, healthy animal, etc. You buy cheap, very cheap, and you sell it very well. Cannot, they could be sick, rejected by the non-Muslim, by other people who sell their meat. Another thing to make you worry a bit, there have been studied by the government a few years ago, they took specimen as they do in every places, food, you know, men's pie, etc., from halal shop, mostly South London. They took men's meat from different halal shop, they found in it pork. This is a government discovery. They contact us, Muslim leader, me, and Sir Iqbal Sakani and other. So you need to be careful, my dear brother and sister. You know, meat is good, is great, is healthy, has got, vit uh, you know, uh, uh, for anemia, vitamin B12, iron, zinc, etc. But you don't have the truly halal meat, the truly tayyib meat today. So please, it looked to me we need to go a bit vegetarian till we fix our house. We need to go vegetarian or go to fish, but make sure fish is not grown on chemical and all this stuff. So you need to be careful. We have addiction of meat. I don't think you should carry on with your addiction after, I'm sorry, I put you off a bit of meat. This is the reality. We're having cancer, we're having problem, we're having non-halal, non tayyib meat on the market. It's your responsibility. Now, may Allah guide me and guide you to the true halal tayyib meat, chicken, fish, etc. Thank you for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.